Let's take a look at traditional animation. Please note that this tutorial was created on an iPad Pro using Animation Pro version 2.1. Your screens may look a little different. Animation Pro has been designed from the ground up for frame by frame cutout style animation. So the app is heavily tuned towards constructing figures from multiple body parts within the Animation Pro figure editor and then adjusting those figures and their body parts from frame to frame to produce an animation. Animation Pro version 2, however, introduced the ability to draw on figure body parts whilst animating. So now, it's also possible to use Animation Pro to create traditional, hand-drawn animations as well. Let's take a look. I'll start by creating and opening a new animation project. In this project, I want to draw my character rather than using a figure constructed in the figure editor. But I'll still need to add a figure containing a single image in order to have something to draw upon. I'll thus select Image as a Figure from the Add menu as shown. At this point, I can select an existing image as a starting point. In this case, however, I'll select blank from the categories on the left of the file manager. Animation Pro has now added a figure containing a single blank image item. Now, if you are new to Animation Pro, the flashing orange circle in the middle of the frame is known as the figure's anchor point. This can be dragged around the frame to move the figure. It is also the point about which the figure will scale and rotate, etc. The other flashing item is the handle to the item in the figure, in this case the blank image. Handles can be dragged to pivot items. You can also tap on them to reveal a selection of other options, one of which is to draw upon the item, so I'll tap upon that. And now Animation Pro will display its animation drawing view, with a whole bunch of tools for drawing upon the item. Now most of the drawing tools found here are exactly the same as those found in the Animation Pro Image Creator. So please take a look at the Creating Images tutorial for more information on how they may be used. So now I can draw a really bad figure. He really wasn't kidding, was he? Now there are some additional tools available here that will make it easier to use Animation Pro for this traditional style of animation. First, it can be useful to display the frame controls. These controls make it possible to add additional frames to your animation and step from frame to frame without having to exit the animation drawing view. So, having displayed the frame controls, I'll tap on the blue plus button to create a new frame. In this case, Animation Pro has created a new frame containing a copy of my figure from the previous frame. That figure also contains a copy of the same drawing from the previous frame. This can be useful if you're only making subtle changes to your drawing from frame to frame. If, however, you'd like to start a new drawing with each new frame, then please turn on the Clear Item When Adding Figures option as shown here. Please also note that you can use the Onion Skin settings here to see the contents from a previous or a next or both frames. So I'll now draw another really bad figure. And his drawing still hasn't improved. And add a third, just to be annoying. Mm. Now if you wish to see how well your animation, in general, is progressing, you can press the preview button at the top of the screen. You can also turn on the scrubber, as shown, to quickly visualise how a specific item, that is, the one that you are currently drawing upon, is animating from frame to frame. And finally, Animation Pro will automatically keep a copy of every drawing you create this way. So if you want to reuse a drawing from another frame, you can get to them via the Substitute menu here. So that was a really quick introduction to some of the traditional animation features found in Animation Pro. If you have come from another animation app that has been designed specifically for traditional animation, then it may seem a little strange to create figures and then draw upon them this way. 
but please keep in mind that Animation Pro allows you to add as many figures as you like to an animation. And those figures may be manipulated in much the same way as the cutout style figures via the Animation Pro Figure Inspector. So by adding some accents, shadows, reflections and a little motion blur, even my terrible drawings can come to life. I hope you found that as informative as I did. Thanks for watching.